Hello, hello. We're back to look at some rocks and uh, I'd like to continue with the magma mixing uh, topic for another specimen. And here I've got uh, an ignimbrite specimen. This is from the island of Gran Canaria in the Canary Archipelago. And it's Miocene in age, about uh, 13.6 million years old. The ignimbrites are quite plentiful on the island of Gran Canaria and so they don't really have names for most part. Many of them only have letters or numbers, and this one is Ignimbrite A. There's a whole alphabet of other Ignimbrites, but uh, this is a particularly good one for looking at magma mixing because we see different components in there. But first of all, Ignimbrites are deposits from uh, pyroclastic events, from uh, glowing avalanches, and uh, here we see that the main matrix is actually an ashy matrix made of little shards and schlierens. So here you see one of them, for instance. So here's another one. And here's a small one. And these shards and schlieren, or fiamme from Italian little flame, um, they are quite plentiful. And they make up the finer grained matrix. There's some larger blobs of magma, former magma in there. And uh, for most parts, these would be collapsed pumices like this larger one here. This may itself have some mixing features, some smaller um, portions of another magma in it, but uh, this was likely a very vesicular pumice at the time of deposition, but it was warm and it got flattened and then it welded. There is another composition here, the dark one, and this is more of a trachyte composition, while the white one is more rhyolitic. All of the rocks on the island of Gran Canaria are a little alkaline in nature. So this rhyolite is an alkaline rhyolite, a commandite as it would be called. And this is an intermediate composition. And because it's a little more alkaline, it's a trachyte. The trachyte is quite crystal rich. You see the little feldspars here. These are plagioclase feldspars, rather sodic plagioclase feldspars. While the rhyolite uh, has very, very small feldspars only. And uh, it's, um, it's mainly kind of uh, around the bend of the sodic uh, corner in the feldspar tree. The fine grained material here is rather gray. And up here, it gets a little darker. The deposit is about 10 meters thick. And at the bottom, it's rather light in color. And at the top, it's rather kind of reddish dark gray. And the uh, general assumption is that more and more material from the lower portions of the magma chamber got entrained into the eruption producing a composite deposit, but this time it's composite in a vertical way. So reflecting if, uh, effectively a sonation within the magma chamber. That's the idea here. Some of the crystals are rather fresh and uh, let me get you a little closer if we manage. So here you see uh, some of the feldspars here. They're rather fresh, but resorbed. They're not uh, perfectly euhedral in shape, and I described that in a little paper a few years ago. So some of these feldspars, I believe, have settled within a magma chamber, and uh, they traveled from the more felsic portions high up in the magma chamber to the more fel uh, to the more mafic portions lower down, and there they got partly resorbed. The uh, yame texture, the eutaxitic texture, as some people call it, that's quite nicely visible here, and of course with the larger blobs there. The size of the fiamme tends to get less abundant higher up in the stratigraphy, reflecting also kind of uh, more ash settling. And this is what we're starting to see up here. There's more of an ashy component coming in. So this is also a form of magma mixing, likely representing uh, different portions of magma in a zoned magma reservoir that got drawn into the same eruptive conduit and therefore got deposited in a variably mixed condition, but in a hot state. And this was then compacted because the deposit is several meters thick. And then it was welded because it was still plastic at the time of deposition. Then these different components were forming a cooling unit because they cooled together. Whether they're genetically belonging together, that could be discussed, but certainly they were together in the same magma chamber for considerable time, allowing for exchange of crystals. Thank you for your attention, and uh, I hope to see you back very soon. Bye-bye.